114-112. Six seconds in overtime. For the shoot for the tie. Here is Greeny. Greeny brings it up. No way out. That's it. That'll do it. Seattle has won it. Kevin Greeny threw up an outside shot. And it was finished Johnson. I think they got a hand on the ball. Janos was right with him. Here we go. Unselt inbound. Start the countdown. Ballard off with the shot. Sonics control from the corner. I don't say to come in. Right. Five, four, three, two, one. Let the celebration begin in Seattle. It is over. The Seattle Supersonics have won the NBA World Championship Series in five games. Well, it was a great series. So. Here we are. <laughs> to the owner of the Sonics, Sam Schulman. To the president of the Sonics, Sally Balchuk. To this great coach, Lenny Wilkins. And Les Haberger, his assistant coach. To captain downtown, Freddie Brown. The champion. And the NBA is the champion of the world. So the Seattle Supersonics are the new world champions. And I now want to present the world trophy to them, which they can keep permanently and be careful of it because it's gold. Thank you very much, Commissioner. <laughs> With the second pick in the 1990 NBA draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Gary Payton from Oregon State. With the fourth pick in the 2008 NBA Draft, the Seattle Supersonics select Russell Westbrook from UCLA. The Seattle Supersonics select Kevin Durant from the University of Texas. As you know, in 2001, a group primarily made up of Seattle-based businessmen came together to establish the Basketball Club of Seattle. The ultimate goal has been and continues to be to preserve the future of, of professional basketball here in the Northwest region and to do it in a way that I think reaffirms our commitment to our fans. Today, although this is extremely difficult, and for me personally, disappointing. I'm really proud to be able to announce that after careful analysis of all the possible scenarios, the Basketball Club of Seattle has entered into an agreement with the Professional Basketball Club, LLC, to purchase the Seattle Supersonics and the Seattle Storm. It is our desire to have the Sonics and Storm remain in Seattle. Sonics, Storm, and Seattle are synonymous. And we have great respect for history. If a commitment for a new building is not realized, then we will evaluate our options, which will include relocation. The Sonics uh, have a valid lease with the city of Seattle through 2010, uh, and we intend to enforce that lease. We've got a place, and we've got the people, and we've got a much better city in which to play basketball. Senator Gorton and the mayor are determined to exact whatever pound of flesh is possible here, and they will, and then the team will leave. Back at 4 p.m. today, U.S. District Judge Marsha Peckman was expected to issue her decision about whether the Sonics would have to stay in Seattle for two more years. The NBA will be in Oklahoma City next season, playing their games. The transition and the move of this, of this operation and this team begins tomorrow morning from Seattle to Oklahoma City. And it begins with the most important piece of our organization. It begins with our players. So after 41 years of basketball in Seattle, the Sonics are packing up the trucks and heading to Oklahoma City. Both the team and the city reached an agreement this afternoon just before the judge was going to make her ruling. The team will pay, pay Seattle $45 million immediately, and if the city does not get another team within five years, they'll get another $30 million.
Sports, I'm Aaron Levine, and this week a Seattle group officially submitted an application for an expansion team. I've been saving this t-shirt for a really long time. It is news that prompted a national reaction from ESPN to the Washington Post, USA Today, and beyond. A story about a city trying to right a wrong since the Sonics skipped town after a civic kerfuffle in 2008.